Good morning, Belen. Today on the news, the drum lane performs in the Feast of Our Lady of Charity. Check out what meetings are this week. And the bowling team comes this close. All this and more in just a sec. Good morning, Belen. I'm Anthony Paluda, and welcome to this edition of WBLN, your news for today, September 9th, 2014. Last night, our very own Belen drumline led the procession at the Solemnity Mass for Our Lady of Charity. The Mass was a celebration full of heritage and worship for the patroness of Cuba. Many youth movements and schools from around Miami attended the Mass to honor our mother. The Mass was celebrated by Archbishop Wenski at the University of Miami Bank United Center. The Mass took place at 8 p.m. this past Friday. Our model United Nation Club hosted its first all-members meeting at the Coscuela Hall. Our keynote speaker was Mr. Moaz Mustafa from the Syrian Emergency Task Force. He captivated the students with his lecture on the current political conflict crisis in Syria and Iraq and the activities of ISIS. Attention students, picture day is Thursday, September 11th. You are reminded to wear your special dress uniform. Registration is now open for the second annual Battle Like a Wolverine 5K. The event will be held on Sunday, October 12th on the Belen campus. The first 100 to register online will receive $10 in breast cancer awareness merchandise, so sign up quick. Overseas study programs to Taiwan and Hong Kong will have an information meeting on Monday, September 15th at 7 p.m. in the Koskiwila Hall. For any questions, please contact Mr. Cleveland. Overseas study program to England and France will have an information meeting on Tuesday, September 16th at 7 p.m. in the Coscuilla Hall. For any questions, please contact Mr. Collins or Ms. Lianias. Top lawmakers are urging President Obama to ditch his plans for an executive action on immigration altogether and work with Congress. On Saturday, the President announced he is delaying any action on immigration until after the midterm elections in November. His move prompted critics and analysts to determine his decision was political as Democrats struggled to maintain control of the Senate. The president has received criticism for his delay. Immigration reform advocates have said they are bitterly disappointed. The president also said that he needs to spend time explaining to the American public his reasons for acting on immigration. The Senate passed a comprehensive piece of immigration legislation in 2013, but it has been stalled in the House. Ten states have now contacted the CDC for help investigating clusters of enterovirus. In some of those states, Andrew Spencer reports the infections could be part of a regional outbreak. A hospital in Kansas City is treating dozens of children every day, and every day, Children's Mercy Hospital puts several of those kids in intensive care. To blame is an uncommon enterovirus known as D68, along with nearly 500 cases in Kansas City, Missouri. Hundreds of kids in Denver, Colorado have been also dealing with the same kinds of respiratory symptoms. The good news is that enterovirus D68 usually isn't fatal. In terms of severe illness, the CDC says the hospitalizations may just be the tip of the iceberg. Similar symptoms have also been reported in Illinois and in Ohio. Officials are waiting on test results to see if it's the result of a regional outbreak. Here we go again. The folks at Apple are hosting another launch announcement. Later today, following months of speculation on the evolution of Apple products. But this time, we are expecting more than just a new iPhone or iPad. If bigger is better, then Apple users may be feeling happy later today. The company expected to unveil a larger version of the popular iPhone with screens measuring between 4.7 and 5.5 inches. The iPhone 5S is 4 inches long. There is also reportedly a brand new product this year. A smartwatch, the wearable device market is relatively new and this would be the first such product for Apple. The company is also expected to release a mobile payment system that works with the new iPhones. Some things tech watchers are looking for in this announcement include water-resistant exteriors, similar to that of Sam Samsung's Galaxy S5, and gamers hope for better processes that will enhance the experience on Apple products. Apple will be making the announcement in California at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, let's go to Benjamin to see what's going on around our hallways. Thank you, Anthony. Here's what's going on in our hallways. The chess club will meet today at 3 p.m. in room F208. There will be a middle school BTV productions meeting after school in C203 at 3.05 p.m. The first astronomy, astronomy club meeting for grades 9 through 12 will be today, September 9th at 7.30 p.m. sharp in the observatory. 
old and new members are invited. Applications will be given at the meeting. There will be a meeting for those interested in joining the Math Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, today at 3.05 p.m. in the Costa Rica Hall. All honors math class students in grades 10 through 12 are invited to attend. If you're looking to better form friendships, if you're looking to grow in your faith, then CLC is for you. Whether you're new to Belen or a lifer, you're invited to join CLC. It's a great way to know yourself better and interact with others and grow in your faith. Come to the Costa Rica Hall today immediately after second period. The Music Appreciation Society holds a jam session today in the Ignatian Center Music Room. New members are welcome. If you, do not, you bring, if you do not bring your own instrument, you will not be allowed to play. The National Junior Honor Society will have a meeting on Thursday, September 11th at 3.10 p.m. in the Costa Rica. Please be prompt. There will be a high school BTV productions meeting Thursday at 3.15 p.m. in Thursday in room C203. There will be a film club meeting Friday at 3.15 p.m. All members must attend. The meeting will be held in room C205. The Belen Philosophy Club will be meeting this Thursday at 3.10 p.m. in room F206. The topic this week will be political philosophy. All are still welcome to attend. The Belen Photo Club will begin the meeting this year on Monday, September 15th at 3 p.m. in room I-123. All students with desire to explore photographic process are welcome to attend. Students interested in joining the Future Doctors of America should print the application and bring it to room H-209 during homeroom with the dues. Friday, September 12th will be the last day to turn it in. Our first meeting will be Thursday, September 18th in room S215. That's what's going around your school. Now back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Benji. Now let's see what Sage Dining is cooking up for us today and a message from our student council. Welcome back. Yesterday there were a couple of showers here and there, but for the most part it was pretty perfect. To see what it's going to look like today, here's Drac Goiti Solo. Thank you, Anthony. Today's weather is going to be mostly cloudy with various scattered thunderstorms. Let's take a look at the current weather. We're going to have highs of 87 and lows of 79 for today with uh, about a 40% chance of rain and scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. The highs and lows for the next uh, three days are going to be in the low 90s and the mid 70s with about a 50% chance of rain throughout the week. That's all for the news. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Jack. This weekend was a packed, filled sports weekend. Let's move on to sports with our very own EJ Santos. Thank you, Anthony. The bowling team opened the season, dropping an exciting 4-3 decision win to Columbus. The squad took the first match but lost the third and won the deciding match by a mere five pins in a back-and-forth contest that came down to the last frame. Andres Casariego averaged an outstanding score of 203 and established a school record by bowling a 212 in the last game. The sixth grade football team plays at Westminster Christian. Game time is 4 p.m. The JV golf team plays at Ransom at Biltmore. Tee off is 4 p.m. That's all for sports. Now back to you, Anthony. Thank you, EJ. Students, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Anthony Palura, and for everyone here at WBLN, have a wonderful day, and stay golden, Wolverines. <laughs>